Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Genshin Impact. So today we are continuing on, the procrastinating. Let's go. Girly pop. Girl girly 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 pop. We are continuing our story in Sumeru today. We gotta go up here and talk to Nahida or Catherine. Catherine, we're here! Oh, um you are the other Catherine, right? That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Can't we just call her Nahida? Shh! We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity! Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep! Exactly! Just what Paimon was thinking! I somehow doubt that. Mm. Anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something is off? Off? What do you feel is off? It's just a little too quiet around here. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? No, I think she's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. I don't know, something sounds fishy. I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Oh, we do have a god on our side. Okay, go to the academia. <laughs> huh, there really aren't many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. Yeah, I did see some NPCs at least. Also, Come on, you liar. It's not the middle of the night. It's literally daytime. What the heck? The sun's rising. Middle of the night, my butt. Oh, it's night. <laughs> they just changed it to night. Oh, we got a cutscene. What are all these people doing here at this That's hour of the night? That's creepy. That's really creepy, actually. Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. Oh, don't worry. a rather spectacular welcome, <gasps> even if I do say so myself. Oh my god. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days, they tend to call me the doctor. Dang. <laughs> if you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Uh oh. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Uh, no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now! You need to get out of here! What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! Dang! The first god who actually really, really cares about her people. Did you put them to sleep? <gasps> Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. Outside? I thought you were locked up in the academia. I 
I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the god of wisdom. Damn, he's so creepy. Bro, I wish that we could fight this man. Honestly, I really do. One of the worst characters in the game. Awful, horrible person. Or outside the city. Now what? <sighs> this should be far enough. <sighs> Paima needs to catch her breath first. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. She can jump between mines. Hopefully she'll be fine. I'm not sure though. That guy was pretty terrifying. Paima wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here. Let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Mm. He called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the Academia came back recently, and that even the Sages are wary of him. Yep, sounds like she must have been talking about the Doctor. We underestimated the scale of this problem. Yeah, now that the Doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the Academia, they're in cahoots with the Fatui. But... What are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? We need to find a way to reunite with Nahida. Yeah, things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Let's start our own investigation. Let's go find someone else who might be involved. Uh, you mean... Let's go find Tainari. Dang, oh, we just talked right. about him. Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project oh. when we were staying with him in the Vidia Forest? That has to be the same project. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. Dang. You mentioned Tainari, and then we have to go meet Tainari. It's probably closest to go over this way. That was crazy. Actually crazy. The Doctor is one of those Harbingers that I really want to see more of in the story. And I also want to see them be crushed, because they are a horrible person, and I don't like them. Oh! I got hit by a boar. Way to go. Hi, Nori. Hi, Nori. Hi, Nori. What are you doing right here? Hold it right there. That's not Tainari. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. Uh-oh. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. <laughs> Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Corps of Thirty? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. That must be the doctor. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Sounds like the doctor. But why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? Local, f local mercenaries might have an edge over the Fatui, and maybe he's taking advantage of the Academia's resources. <sighs> Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Uh, you're up, Traveler! I guess I do gotta fight them. Following order. New punch. Everybody stand! Hey. Huh. Huh. Hey. With sword comes shadow. Point, point, point. <laughs> I'm still working on my Kaching. She's not there yet. Inazuma shines eternal. Shine down. Not quite there yet. Nowhere to hide. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? More? Here comes reinforcements. Dang, there's so many. Don't blink. There's so many people. Okay. Pretty easy. That was pretty rough. No, it was easy. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? It probably won't be long before we see more of them. Yeah. 
Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Ugh. Going up against smart people <laughs> is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. Smart people. Okay, Paimon. Just, you know, <laughs> diss me there. Guess I'm not smart to Paimon. It's okay, Paimon's not smart to me either. <laughs> Who can play that game? Where do you want me to go? Right here? Oh, I see Kale. Our old buddy, our Peter Pocket friend. I missed you, Kale. Oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What are you two doing back here? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I... <sighs> to be oh. honest, I'm not doing too well. Oh, no. My LSR has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Oh, oh Kale! It seems that curing Im... Uh, Im I can't say the word, oh my god. Ermansol, <laughs> I can say it. It seems that curing Ermansol is our only chance. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. He didn't give a reason? No. I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Immorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of Stiai is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party Stiai. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party Stiai. Please take care of yourself, Kalei, and don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. Hey, oh, baby, Got I'm it. sorry. Will do! See you later, Kale! She's so pretty. She deserves the world. If I could give her the sun, I would. What? What? What was that? <laughs> what was that? What? What? This is not fair. Okay, I had to go do a quest real quick to talk to Catherine because we needed her literally to be right here. <laughs> but here she is, Catherine. Wait, look who it is! Nahida! Thank goodness you're okay! We were so worried about you! You are Nahida, right? You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? Hey! This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! You gotta be cautious, Paimon. Actually, it's very smart of the yeah. Traveler to be wary of me right now. After smart. all, the Doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the Doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. I believe you. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. 
The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. We need to hurry. Our position will only get worse with time. Ugh. It feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party's DI? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced her destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. <laughs> She's just coming over here, she heard us talking to Catherine, and she was like, nope. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Yeah, actually, uh, didn't think about that. <laughs> also, while I'm right here, I might as well get this real quick. And get this, because I did, in fact, have to fly over here. I have not been here yet, actually. Not gonna lie, one of my favorite areas right here is this greenhouse in all of Sumeru. It's just so pretty. Like, if you could get this as, like, a house or something, a part of a house, maybe I would decorate houses in this game. <coughs> it's just so pretty. Oh, Hapasia. You're here. Traveler? It is you! Ah! It's Hapasia! Long time no see. Ah, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Hapasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. <sighs> Uh-oh. Nahida doesn't like that. You did it? Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. You're truly amazing. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was! I don't like this. This is creepy. <laughs> they are- they're all creeped out. They don't like this either. That sounds incredible! No, it doesn't. Actually, we're here for Tainari. Oh. All right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. You... you can do that? You believe her, Nahida? Are you just gonna say Nahida in front of everyone? I've never Catherine. heard of anything like that, but... Catherine! If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneal with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Thanks. She Hold just whipped my that hand. out of nowhere. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> I do like her Ready? hair color. Her hair color is really pretty. But I don't like this. Last time we almost puked. I guess Tainari did say we were fine, so... Are we doing another it took domain? It three betrayals for oh. me to finally understand. 
Scaramouche. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. Oh. My creator. My mother. Oh. That line now breaks my heart. Above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Isn't that Kazuha's ancestor? Consumed by fear. He saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality. He broke his promise to me. It's not really his fault. He's, Humans. He's a baby. They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Scaramouche. To be fair. There is no need to, to be fear. fair. He's the so pain cool. Will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. I can't help it. He is so cool. He really is. <laughs> what? I mean, said, ah. what was that? What was those facial expressions? This is neither the Greater Lord's consciousness, nor King Deshret's consciousness. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know about him. Why is it echoey? But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? Are we talking in our consciousness again? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god! Such a noble will! Such sublime emotion! Uh-oh. Alas, shame. If only, if only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, oh great and merciful God, please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Uh, uh-oh. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri in a life, but rather... Wake up, Papasia. You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? Because you're crazy. I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? You kind of... You, you, you uncovered the darkness, girly bop. Papaya! That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait, have I... Already lost my mind? Uh-oh. So she didn't achieve Pani Pura life. She was one of the scholars who went mad. Wait, something isn't right! We're just gonna let her walk away like that? Oh! This is a very drama-filled episode. There's a lot happening today. Why are they attacking us? They're part of the academia, they're in green! Oh, the good guys! Or at least on our side. Oh! What? Oh, this is her actual cage. I see you. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, this episode is so good. He's just so cool. I know people either really like Scaramouche or hate him. I really love his character. I can't help it. Oh. Hainari. Am I running? <sighs> okay, we finally lost him. Oh, I'm back to myself, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no. Something feels different. <gasps> You're back! Oh, she must have possessed us then. Instead of Catherine, she must have, like, when we did that, she probably transferred herself over to us. Oh, right. the Traveler's back? Yeah, hey, Pookie. It's me. What just happened? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. Yeah. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Kainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. This time, she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our minds swapped places. Oh, that's who Scaramouche... He was talking to us, the Traveler. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, the doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness. Uh -oh. So I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <gasps> oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Sir's daughter for good this time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. It's a code that only we know. We can't let the doctor figure out what we're up to. Oh, that makes sense! Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from that alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Wow, you're so smart, Paimon. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? Yep. It had something to do with Sataria. The moon refers to Nahida herself, starlight refers to the people of the desert, illusion and lies refer, refer to the Academia's plan. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh, do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon, you said Sanctuary of Surasthana, correct? Oh. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body, is... the Dendro Archon? He's so smart. Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation... <laughs> Safe to say, I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side. So, I trust you. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that the project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansoul. I think I know what the project's about. I just received some new intel. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? The Academia is turning the Balandir into a god. What? Do you have any evidence? So, uh... Nascent god under construction? Asia also showed us a so-called divine consciousness. Hmm. Describe what you saw within Nahida's consciousness. Hmm. So that's what happened. That explains why Hapasia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari? Did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hapasia? I did. I noticed Hapasia's mental anomalies, 
but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardis D.I. and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but, but I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Vatui may have also fanned the flame. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. But then, what is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermensol? Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the Sage's goals. Let's head to the desert for now. We must stop them no matter what. Right. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Hapasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rebot. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the Spirit of Wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then. We are off to the desert. The god gazes back. Okay, so in the next episode, we will be finally heading into the desert. This was a very crazy episode, I'm not gonna lie. There was so much that happened, and I'm super excited to finally go to the desert. But if you guys enjoyed, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!